Okay, so another example of problems involving percent is we have here the commission and the interest. Okay? Okay, so first example, Joan works at an appliance store. She gets a commission of 9% of her total sale for a week plus her salary, uh, fixed salary of 5,000 pesos. Okay, so if her total sale for the week was 15 pesos, how much was her total earnings? Okay, so to answer that problem, we need to identify the given quantities. Okay, so we have here the fixed salary, total sale, commission rate, and the total earnings. Okay, so this is a commission problem, by the way. Okay, so we have here fixed salary. So the fixed salary is 5,000 pesos. Okay, so how about the total sale? So the total sale is 15,000 pesos. Okay, how about the commission rate? So that's the percent, which is 9%. Okay, so again, we need to convert this one into its decimal form. Okay, so we have to divide that one by 100%. So the result is 0 0.09. Okay, so that is what we're going to use in solving by and by or later. Okay, so again, the total earnings, that is what we're going to look for. Okay, we're going to solve for that one later. Okay. Okay, so we have here the identified quantities. So next is we have to solve for the total earnings. And basically, we can solve the total earnings using this formula. Okay, so the total earnings is equal to the fixed salary added to the product of the total sale and the commission rate. Okay? We can also use this formula in finding the total earnings. So that is... The total earnings is equal to the fixed salary added to the commission value, okay? So in this case, we don't have the value for our commission, okay? So remember that the commission rate is different from the commission amount or value, okay? So first is we have to solve for our commission. So given that one, we have this formula, okay? So the commission is equal to the total sale times the commission rate okay so again commission is equal to what's the total sale we have here okay so 5,000 pesos so multiply that one to the commission rate which is 0 0.09 okay so get the product so we'll be having there the commission is equal to the product which is 1350 pesos okay so that is for the commission amount or value okay so next is we have to solve for our total earnings since we have the value for the commission so going back okay so the total earnings is equal to the fixed salary which is 5000 pesos plus Okay, the commission which is 1,350 pesos. Okay. So we have to get the sum. So we'll be having there the total earnings is equal to the sum which is 6,350 pesos. Okay. So that is our total earnings. So going back to the original problem. Okay, so going back to the given problem. So to answer this one, okay, so if her total sale for the week was 15,000, then her total earnings was 6,350 pesos. Okay, so that is the answer to this problem. Okay, so another example. Lourdes deposited 25,000 pesos in a bank with an interest of 3% per year. So how much interest with her, uh, will her money earn in 2 years? Okay? So this is an interest problem. Okay? 
So we have to identify again the given quantities. Okay, so we'll be having there the principal amount, which is the 25,000 pesos, which Lord is deposited or, uh, in the bank. Okay, so that is the original amount. Okay, next is the interest rate. We have there the 3%. Okay, so that is the interest rate. Okay, so again, we need to convert this to its decimal form. Okay, so again, we have to divide that one by 100%. Okay, so the result would be 0 0.03. Okay, so that time, we have here in years, which is 2. Okay, so the time is 2 years. Okay, and we're going to look for the empty rest. Okay. Okay, so we have here the uh, identified quantities. Okay, so next is we have to solve for the interest. Okay, so the interest, we can solve that one using this formula. Okay, so I stands for the interest. P stands for the principal amount. R stands for the interest rate. And T stands for the time. Okay, so we have here... Interest is equal to the product of the principal amount, the rate or the interest rate, and the time. Okay? So we have the interest is equal to what's the principal amount. So substitute that one. We have there 25,000 pesos. Okay? So multiply that one to the interest rate, which is 0 0.03. And then multiply that one to the time which is two years okay so get the product of the three so the interest would be equal to the product which is 1500 pesos okay so that is the interest now going back to the given uh, problem so what is or how much interest will her money earn in two years Okay, so to answer the question, so her money will earn 1,500 interest in 2 years. Okay, so that is the answer to this problem. Okay? Thank you very much for listening and watching. Don't forget to subscribe.